Now, Jet 24's Mike Venner with sports. Welcome on it. It's time for sports. A loaded college schedule on the docket plus the Otters. But we begin with three high school football playoff matchups in District 10. And let's head to Class 2A. Mark Brooks, Northwestern Wildcats taking on Bill Hickman's Lakeview Sailors in the 2A quarterfinals at Sox Harrison Stadium in Edinburgh. Rainy night in the borough. How about a block punt? Special teams huge in this game. Alex Rimmel, the block. Jake Kelly, the return. 20 yards for a Northwestern touchdown. 7 0. And Dub still in the first. More Wildcats this time on offense. Austin Swift, fittingly, goes 43 yards to the right side of the field, and he's gone. 14-0 lead for the Wildcats in the rain. First play of the second quarter, Northwestern going to go to the air. Great play-action fake from Brian Toole. He'll hook up with Tanner Sumner for the 17-yard touchdown. 21-0 lead for Northwestern. And finally, Logan Scott was taken in from five yards out. Cats up 27 0 at the half. They win it in a shutout, 33 0 to move on to the Class 2A semifinals against Greenville next week. To Class 5A down in Franklin, it's a rematch of last year's district championship. General McLean against unbeaten Oil City. Lancers trailing 14 0 at the first. Oilers go to the ground some more, and Braden Crocker takes the handoff, goes 84 yards for the Oil City touchdown. OC up 22 0 after a two point conversion. Next possession for the Oilers, handoff to Noah Petro. His big season continues, picks up the first down here. But later in the drive, General McLean forcing one of its two fumbles defensively in the half. Lancers poke it out, pull it out, rip it, and grip it and recover and get the football, but they couldn't do anything with it. Oil City wouldn't allow a score, however, in the first half. And with the ball again, it's Petro taken off, and he scores, trucking a defender with him. 30 to nothing at the half. The Oilers move to 10-0. They advance to the District 10 5A championship, beating General McLean 42-7. They'll try to repeat as district champions. Who do they meet? Well, let's find out. Class 5A afternoon action at Edinburgh Sox Harrison Stadium. Meadville facing Warren. Ray Collins and the Bulldogs trying to Go from winless a year ago to a district championship. Dragons, though, had other ideas in the first. How about the touchdown pass here? Micah passed more to Donovan Fiscus. Dragons up 7 0. Bulldogs, plenty of answers, though. Later in the first, Hayden Parks around the right edge and in. 7 6 ball game. Next, Meadville possession. One play drives all they need here as Parks makes defenders miss. And he goes 38 yards to the end zone. Meadville, the 14 6 lead at the half. And in the third, plenty more options on the ground. Let's see. Chandler Edwards coming into your picture. He scores for the Dogs. And then Landon Beck, play action pass, looking for Austin Chess, not Checkers. For six, Meadville rolls to the district championship by way of a 49 7 win over Warren Parks with four TDs. And he and Beck break single season school records for passing and receiving touchdowns in the victory. You look at that whole backfield. They're, they're, all those guys are chipping in and producing, putting up uh, big numbers. They, they pick each other up. One guy has a hot hand, you know, it's because the other guys are blocking for him. We definitely had to be more physical off the ball. They were, they were penetrating us a lot, a lot better than they did in the first game. Uh, had to make a, a halftime adjustment, which we did very well, and we came up victorious because of it. 